This book was a nice surprise. I never heard of Paul Fleischman. I never heard of Lost, a story in string from 2000. It's beautifully illustrated in black and white. And it's a story about a girl who's at home with her grandma and the lights go out. She starts complaining, hey, there ain't no TV, there ain't no computer. So her mom, her grandmother tells her a story about a young girl who was so poor all she had was a piece of string to play with. And I like this part, it's important because I told my kids, I said, look, she has no toys. And they were like, oh, really? And then I had a little talk with them about how some people can't afford a bunch of toys, can't even afford food. So a good reality check sets in. What I also like about this book is it doesn't shy away from taking its time with the words and telling a nice long story. Uh, it really gets into this character, this girl, and you really feel for her because she meets this dog that you just saw and then the dog wanders away. She goes out looking for it and she gets lost and she has to spend the night in the snow and you start to worry about her and her survival skills kick in and you're impressed with her and she does well. Now the other thing you might have noticed that I'm flipping the pages is there's all these different string, uh, you know, string figures and shapes that you can make. So it's uh, it's cool because, you know, the whole story was she didn't have any toy except string, and they show you these different cat in the cradle type things. And at the end of the book, and I won't spoil how it ends, they teach you how to do the different things. So it's it's really cool. It's an activity book. It's a story book. It's beautifully done. Uh, really nice story, loved the character, got into it, was really worried for her, but find out what happens yourself with Lost, a story in string.